Hi there guys, it's Robin Morton here on the west coast of Scotland and it's an unusually nice day today. So I will make this quick. I just want to talk to you about consistency today. I was supposed to be going up a mountain but the weather was supposed to be horrible. So um, <clears throat> I thought I would make a video but now that it's so nice I think I'm going to go out and chop some wood with my son in a few minutes. So today I want to talk to you about consistency and how consistency can change your life. And first I want to ask you a question. This is a, a question you've probably heard a variation of before. It's quite a famous way of thinking about things. But I want to ask you this. Would you rather have a million pounds for me today? Or, or dollars or whatever, a million? Or would you rather I gave you a penny or a cent? which doubled every day for a month. Okay, so uh, think about that for a second. A million dollars is a lot of money, isn't it? You could do a lot with a million dollars. You know, a penny, that seems, you know, doesn't seem very good. Penny a day doubles. That can't really do very much, can it? In a month, I can't really see how a penny could really turn into much. But that is really what I want to talk about today. Consistency, compounding doing the same little things day after day can make a huge difference. Would you believe that that penny or that cent, if you were to double that every day for a month, so say by the end of January, that would be worth $10 million to you. So that's 10, more than 10 times, in fact, uh, what you're, you would have got if you'd just taken a million dollars. So obviously uh, there's not many investments that you can make that are going to double on a daily basis, but it shows the, the power of compounding and the power of consistent daily action. And that really is what I want to talk about, how being consistent can make a huge difference to your life. I see it all the time in business. I used to be a gym owner. Um, I, I've seen it all across my businesses. and one of the things I do now, I'm a thriller writer. I write books under the name Alex Breck. And if you had told me, you know, 10 years ago, I'd have half a dozen uh, published thrillers under my name, I would have thought you were mad. And, the, you know, the first time I sat down to try and write a book, you know, I had the classic writer's block staring at a blank screen. Um, you know, how, how am I going to do this? I can't, how am I going to write 100,000 words? When I can't even write a hundred words, and uh, you know, so I started off doing it, and I was lucky. I found a thing called Nano Remo, which is a, a National Novel Writing Month online challenge, where they challenge you to write fifty thousand words in a month. Uh, so that's one thousand six hundred and sixty-seven words a day, which to me was terrifying at that time. And I, I sat down, and I, you know, I did a few words the first day, a few more words the second day. But the online collaboration and the support I got from people, you know, before long I was writing 1,667 words a day and more than that. And by the end of the month, I could write two, three, four, five thousand words in a day but because I just consistently took action every single day. Now, writing, you know, it's like a muscle. Uh, the, the more you use it, the stronger it gets. It's like willpower. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And before you know it, you, know, you can achieve things that you didn't think you could do before. Um, and, you know, another good example is, is marathon running. I hate running. I absolutely, hi there, Sean. I absolutely hate running. I, I'm a keen cyclist. I've climbed, you know, mountains, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I, I hate running. But one day when my son was born, uh, we had loads of trouble trying to have children. I... Uh, we were told we couldn't have any kids and eventually when our son was born it was a huge uh, uh, event in our lives I, I was what felt so happy I wanted to do something back for the world and so you know I said to my wife what you know I'm going to raise some money for charity what can I do I've done lots of charity work in the past I've I've jumped out of uh, perfectly serviceable airplanes for no reason um, and parachuting, by the way, I thoroughly recommend it. It's fantastic. But you know, I've jumped out of planes. I've flown planes. I've driven racing cars. 
I've sailed off mountains, you know, done all that kind of mad stuff, you know. So I thought, what can I do that would be really special to celebrate the birth of my son and give something back to the world? My wife said, well, why don't you run a marathon? Because, you know, you really hate running. So I, I thought, OK, I'll, I'll give it a try. But I know I won't get in because the London Marathon is really hard to get into. Uh, but I, I told uh, uh, a charity that I'd raise, uh, you know, a thousand pounds if they let me in, hoping that they wouldn't, but they did. And uh, that was a terrible day that the letter arrived on my door to say, yes, Robin, you've been accepted onto the London Marathon, which was in 16 weeks at that time. So I went out the first day. I live in a tiny island. You know, it's not even uh, five miles long. So 26 miles, you know, it was going to be quite difficult. I, I ran 26 yards the first day and I nearly threw up. Uh, I was leaning over my hands on my knees, my head down. I, I thought, I'm never going to be able to do this. How can I run a mile, never mind 26 miles? But, you know, I told lots of people I was going to do it. I was going to raise money for charity. There was no going back. And every day I just did a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more. And I ran right through the most horrible time of year, you know, this time of year, January, February, the rain, the darkness, horrible, horrible weather. But every day I just did a little bit more and it got easier and it got easier. And, you know, by the time I, I ran the marathon, I was doing training runs of 20 miles. And it was almost like meditating to a certain extent. It became, it became, you know, I got so used to doing it, it became easy almost. Uh, you know, to, to be able to run a marathon is, is a huge achievement. And, you know, most people think they can't do it. But just by being consistent, consistently taking that action on a daily basis, you know, you can do it. And I, I wasn't a young man at the time. I was 40 when I ran the London Marathon. And I raised uh, more than £1,000. I raised more than uh, £5,000 for a children's cancer charity. So it was definitely worth doing. So that is how powerful consistency can be. Now, that can apply right across the board, your personal life, what you want to do in your life. You know, being a gym owner, you know, I would see people come in and, and work out every day for a month and then stop. Why would you do that? You know, you can't possibly get fit in a month and then keep that fitness. It's the same with business. You, you've got to show up. You've got to be consistent and take consistent daily action. And that's honestly when the magic starts to happen. I've got a perfect example for that uh, for you today. I have a, a gold, gold meets crypto business. Um, hi, uh, thanks for that, Sean. Um, yes, so my, my gold uh, and meets crypto business, we had a, a challenge in December to finish the year off strong, to, to do something every day. It was, you were spending a tiny amount of money, uh, just a few dollars, uh, and you were uh, turning your basically use, useless uh, paper money into what we call cash gold and then converting that into gold backed digital coins all done with a few clicks of a button but doing it a little bit every day i was doing uh, ten dollars a day and buying these uh, gold backed digital coins no gambling involved whatsoever these coins are guaranteed to be exchangeable in july for a gram of gold, a hundred of these coins for a gram of gold. Now, the coins cost pennies to buy. You know, it's like my example at the beginning, absolutely pennies. But a gram of gold is pretty much safe. They're going to be worth around $40 in July. So your, your pennies can turn into to real gold in July just by doing this daily activity. Now, the 21-day challenge in December is is past now, but there's no way I'm going to stop doing it. And all the people I know who are doing it are going to keep doing it every single day until the 4th of July, because every day they are making more and more, uh, increasing their wealth more and more every single day. And it's, it's easy to do. So if that sounds interesting to you, you know, contact me, uh, hit me up. I'm going to leave a link uh, below in the comments. And, you know, just take that little bit of consistent action every day and you'd be surprised how quickly it turns into something special. And, you know, uh, you, could, you could be talking about your fitness, you could be talking about um, 
you know, writing books, whatever you want to do, just take a little bit of consistent action every day and you'll be amazed. I mean, I have built up uh, a massive asset wealth just by doing stuff like this. This business that I'm involved in is, is literally pure gold. So that's really all I want to say today. That's 10 minutes that you'll be uh, sick of hearing my uh, Scottish accent by now. Uh, I'm going to go out and chop some wood. Uh, have a great day. Hope 2019 gives you everything that you want and you deserve. And uh, uh, hit me up if you want any more advice about this amazing uh, gold opportunity. It really is, uh, you know, uh, wealth that you can build up and change your life, change the life of your children and, and your, your family. It's generational, life-changing uh, stuff. So that's all from Robin at Win With Robin and 22nd Century Gold. Have a great day and a fantastic year. Bye-bye now.